Really nice looking fish. Wow, that's a trophy. That's a hog! Woo! Nice job, you two. There we go. Lund Boats proudly presents the ultimate fishing experience. This week on Lund's The Ultimate Fishing Experience, we're heading to Akaska, South Dakota, just a stone's throw away from massive Lake Oahe of the Missouri River system. This wide open area is famous for both its abundant pheasant population on land and walleyes below the surface. With this great combo, it's easy to see why the Schilling family set up Oahe Wings and Walleye Camp, which caters to those who want to enjoy the sportsman's paradise. So what does Lund Pro Staffer Chad Schilling do when he has a break from his hectic schedule? Well, go fishing, of course, except this time with his daughter, Samantha, and son, Bo, in tow. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oahe's famed walleye is their main goal, but whatever bites is fair game, because in the end, it's nonstop action that fuels the day. What an awesome day. Hey guys, Chad Schilling and Samantha Schilling with Oahe Wings and Walleyes. Get a great opportunity today to take my kids fishing on beautiful Lake Oahe. We're gonna go out and have a family fun day. We don't get to do enough of that. So uh, today is gonna be all about having fun with the kids. My son Bo is gonna join us here just shortly. We're gonna give the Lund Pontoon a run today and get to show you guys how fishable it is and how much fun it is. And uh, we're looking forward to it. So let's go do it, Sam. Lake Oahe's at pretty much all time record highs again. We're uh, for this time of year, it's definitely at record highs. Um, the fishing has been interesting this year. We've seen a lot more of them big fish. It's been a major bonus to this fishery, being able to go out and get your eaters, get your ones for the table, and then uh, adding a big fish in. Great smallmouth. Our smallmouth are world class. They, uh, they get no publicity. No one knows about them. Northern pike are always present. We got to show that off. I've done, actually, this is our third Lund ultimate fishing experience. Um, I got to do the first one with my kids. The first Lund boat show ever done was done with me and Sam and Bo. You'll see there's been a little change in these two since that was uh, aired, but it, uh, we don't get to do this very often and it's really fun when this crew shows up and I get to go fishing with my kids. So my kids obviously love trolling. I shouldn't say that. Samantha loves trolling. I love it. <laughs> and it is a way to contact a lot of the bigger fish right now. And then we're gonna employ some jigging techniques. Um, very effective here and also by far, hands down, me and Bo's favorite. Both of the jigging and the trolling will be targeting big fish and you do get your perfect eaters doing that too. So you get to go out today and have a lot of fun and uh, we're gonna catch fish. We'll figure out what color they are when we get done and we honestly don't care, so I hope you don't. Oh, look at them all with him. Just wait, Bo, grab your rod. I have my oh, rod right here. Wait, there's like no. five of them with him, and there's, there's one that's way bigger. Come on up there, Sam. Just yeah, wait till I bring him up. Okay, drop it down a little bit more. Drop it down a little more. There you go. I only see the one now. Where's oh. the? Oh no, that, he was back here. You're good. You're I good. He'll come up. Me. Dang it! That other one was big. Must be looked pretty good. Nice and scale. There you go. <laughs> well, boy. Yeah. Sure, keep him right there, but I'll grab him. Darn it, we had a big one chasing this one. This is just a couple pounder, but beautiful smallmouth. Oh, I was just a little slow. I think we spooked him. We got him up too high, but we do that a lot out here. We'll reel in these smallmouths, and when there's a school of them, we'll actually uh, get the other rods over there, and you can catch four or five of them usually before you spook them. You could off drop the whole a chub and. <laughs> yeah, chub would be busy, wouldn't it, buddy? Yeah. But yeah, just in. 
healthy fish, nice fish. He thumped it like a big old walleye, but we're gonna let him get back. <laughs> nice. Am I losing my rod? Are you taking my rod? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's. We know there's a bunch of smallies down there, and we don't care. <laughs> Oh, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Keep jigging. They'll come back. Get your slack out. That's what you got to remember. Oh, he was never gone. <laughs> <laughs> got it? Oh, what is it? That little... Just a little walleye. I'm really going to catch him. swing him in, one. babe. <laughs> little ones are awesome. A nice... nice job, you two. You set the hook so hard, Sam, you pulled slack in the line. Oh, yeah. Ricky Bobby strikes again. <laughs> nice little wahi 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 wahi. Keep them going. You gotta go far away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Closed captioning is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. So we just moved back over here into an area where we caught some fish earlier and the winds came up, which is usually a really good thing. We're gonna put the boat in reverse and just slide through here. These pontoons are like they're on tracks. We're just, I can walk around and the boat takes care of itself. And then we're gonna run the bread and butter rig here on South Dakota, starting with a two ounce bottom bouncer. Um, doesn't get much more simple than that. I run 12 pound to 14 pound fluorocarbon for my lead. And on this one, I have a plain hook, just a plain Aberdeen hook. Um, a lot of times we'll use the slow death hook, um, slow turn hook from Berkeley. Use all kinds of different hooks. The key thing is right now they want it simple. Um, earlier in the season we're running smiley blades, spinners, propeller rigs. Um, Pro Tackle has most of them, everything I use. But right now we're keeping it simple, moving to 0.8 to 1 mile an hour and just sliding along here, dragging about as simple a rig as you can get and uh, I'm letting the kids run that stuff and I'm still jigging, just trying to get them fired up on these. That's the beauty of what we're getting to do here. We have a boat that has more room than we could ever imagine to put all our equipment on, and so we're just gonna be flexible. He's hooked in the mouth, he just got turned sideways. <laughs> not very big. I'm wondering up. Oh man, does that fool you. I'm glad this is a fun day and not a tournament because that one would have broke my heart. I got him hooked at the tail hook when he turned, the treble got stuck in his cheek. It's like leading a horse by the tail. It's one of them ones that gets you pretty excited, but he's not all that big. I use spinning rods. A lot of guys using bottom bouncers and stuff will use a bait cast. I guide all the time. A spinning rod's fun to fight a fish on. You get a lot more play out of the fish. If we happen to lose one, I can live with it. We, uh, we try to slow the fall down on the bottom bouncer just to keep stuff from tangling up, but we don't have too much issues with that. Pretty simple setup. I mean, nothing too fancy, and uh, it definitely puts a lot of fish in the boat. Let it go for a few hundred. There, you got him. Oh, real. Nice. Oh, this is a nicer one. I don't think that's no walleye. Oh, yeah. You think so? <laughs> or is your drag just real loose? It's all right. Yeah, I'll come around, Sam. Oh, lift your rod tip. Right tip. Oh, nice fish. <laughs> nice. Uh, Bo, we're kind of getting our butt kicked here today, buddy. <laughs> I know. He's fat. He's fat. That's oh, a little bigger that's... one. There you go. Just... <laughs> nice fish. Sam, you want to let him go? I'm pushing the boat in reverse with the trolling motor. It seems like it would be a pain. It fishes so nice when your lines are out here, out front and not under the boat. And when you're doing this, put your lightest bouncers out the front and your heavy ones on the side and heavier as you go back, you don't have any tangles. It's just a common sense thing that a lot of people don't think about. But if I get one more good thunk, that's a little one, but oh, he's still hitting. He hit it about three times on the way down there. I'll catch him. There, he got it. That's not too little, is no, it? No, he ain't that little. Maybe his big brother come and cleaned it up for him. <laughs> and that time I didn't feel nothing. Oh, nice fish. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Bring him right in through the hole there, Bo. You got slack? How did I call that one? I said a real little guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. All right. Just another perfect representative fish. 16, 17 inches. 
um, fat, beautiful fish. I missed him three times and I called him a tiny one, so I guess I wasn't right on the money there for darn sure, but we'll sure take them. We'll take them all day long, them are perfect. Okay. Not very big though. I still like netting things, so I'm gonna net it. It's a walleye. Little walleye. Oh, you're gonna net it. I'm all right, guys, let's go pull some crankbaits and change it up. What do you think? Sounds like Sounds a plan. plan yeah. All right, let's go. So a lot of people just hook their their bottom monsters up and they're swinging everywhere. Then when they get back on the lake, they're all tangled up and it takes 10 minutes to untie everything. So we just put the bottom monster all the way around the rod and go back through the swivel. And then they can't come out. They don't they don't come undone and it works pretty good. We're going to get one where I ain't letting them net. <laughs> I can net. I know you can. Now, if they hit those weights, don't gentle. All of them, just be gentle. All right, now this probably looks pretty unconventional, but uh, we're back trolling our crankbaits, and the reason for it, out here we don't have to fish around many people. We're fishing a big, long, straight stretch, so I can sit at the helm, look at all my rods, and the boat's like it's on tracks. I mean, I don't have to steer the entire time right now, it's doing its thing. Um, in order to stay covering everything, we're running two three-way rigs right here with short diving crankbaits, just little three-way droppers, running a heavy weight, dropping that one straight down. The next two are lead core rods. They're back there 60, 80 feet, following up, um, bringing two different size crankbaits through there. And then we're running planer boards on the outsides. That's just spreading out. And the same thing, we're running uh, you know, two fairly deep diving plugs, but we're just clipping the tops of the trees. This is such a simple way to do this, and if you catch one, you're not worried about pulling it to the motor or to where you can't reach. Got one on right now, and it's a good one. Uh-oh, he I got the net. In. Yeah. He dive in. Thanks. Oh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. It's a great way to contact a pike and a giant walleye. This is your I'm turn. Not too sure which we got here, but we're about to find out. Did you see my line go, Dad? Yeah. It's going perfect the speed of the boat. We're about to find out. Yeah, it's a nice northern. We don't really have the right net for a big pike, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be nice and stinky <laughs> up in here. He's mad. Doesn't like that. And this is what I mean, how sweet is this? I have nothing to worry about, the fish coming to me. We would slow down so we wouldn't drag like that, but then all of our stuff falls into the trees. So that's a pain we kind of got to keep our pace and hope he stays hooked up. But he that's will. fun. That's a violent hit. Keep him going, Bob. <laughs> uh, Reach. You gotta get him a little... Reach. There we go. <laughs> and he's off. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. That's fun, huh? Yeah. Okay. So. It'd be a lot cooler if that was about a nine pound walleye. <laughs> there you go, guys. I don't want to hold it. <laughs> no, I got him. Here, I got him. Get in here. Get over here by me. How cool is that? Then we got to get back at this. Road hunting. Cool, cool. Let's get back at it. Here we go, guys. So this is what we call a yard sale. We have like two of everything out. <laughs> we have purple and blue and sometimes white, are the color, them are the colors that are usually good to us. God, pike, usually they like red, but that guy's biting a little blue, what is it, a reef runner? Yep. Yeah. Why is it called the yard sale? We got planer boards, lead core, weights, yeah. <laughs> Everything but the kitchen sink? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. See, I'm real. Clearing rods. Clearing rods. We better not. Okay, don't hit that bow. <laughs> okay. Nice and easy. <laughs> Dude, this is what I call fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gentle. I need to back up or good? Lift your rod. I'm lifting. <laughs> Yeah. Really nice one. Yep. Oh, it's a nice one. That's a nice one. Just gentle, Sam. Just keep him coming right there. I'm doing it. A little bit fast. Just nice and easy. Oh, don't do that, girl. Keep coming, Sam. Keep coming. I'm keep coming. I was planning on it. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> came off. It, even, it was on the planer board, too. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> it came out already. Nice. Here you go, Sam. I'm going to let you let her go gentle out the front. Okay. Oh, she's 25 inches. You're right. <laughs> Get down on your knees. Yep. Put in order. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get this yeah, back in business. Let's get this really <laughs> okay. I would, but they're the fish. I would. <laughs> oh, it's another good one, Sam, I think. I would, but there's a. Oh, I got one here, too. Oh, look at the bass jumping with an eight ounce weight. Okay, you have time, but not enough, and That's I think... That's a nice wall. I, I'm no hurry. No. Okay. Okay, we're bringing bass on board. B.O.B. Bass Ooh. on board. <laughs> I got you, Bo. Oop, I got it. Don't let it snap, Bo. Sam. Oh, see how good that is? <laughs> You're netting? Yeah. Ooh, All right. okay. I got it. To... Under and up. Under and up. Bob. Bass on board. I can't believe it right that. I think it's a bass. Oh I my gosh. Bass. It is a bass. Uh, bass on board. Two bass on board, so TBOB. <laughs> oh, I hooked him funny. He came to the top. That's a nice bass. I get to hold it. That is a fat bass. He's not very long, but he's got the girth, don't he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and another one bites at us. <laughs> it's, it's not center punching us right now. It looks cool. Don't say that. I know. Yeah, don't uh, say you're that. Right. You, you can <laughs> predict fish. You cannot predict weather. Wow, that kind of hurts. Did you hear that, Mike? <laughs> you're not a weather man. Well, we put the canopy up a little bit ago for sun. Now here we are in South Dakota. We have a rainstorm and we're plumb dry standing. <laughs> Your mic. It's not working that way for everybody fishing oh. around us. <laughs> All right, kids, I don't know. Let, this weather's rolling in pretty severe. I'm not too sure. There's a lot of lightning in the area. We probably better sneak on out of here. We'll catch them again tomorrow. All right, here we are on day two. We, uh, we got run off the water last night. The storms were pretty severe. We tried to fight it as long as we could, but we made a good decision and bailed. Uh, just got reset up here. Most of our fish came on our planer boards yesterday, so we added a couple more boards to the mix and uh, changed it up and got rid of the uh, three ways with the big eight ounce weights and went to just two lead core out the front, covering a little more water. Uh, th this water is really clear. Um, even after the storms last night, it didn't muddy up, so they'll come and get the bait, so we're just gonna give them a bigger spread to come find. Right here, right here. Yep. Sam, let Bo take one. Aww. I think it's the one we want. It looks better. I got bored. Gently. Yeah. You don't back up too far, Bo, so you can lift it good. You're good, right? Stay down. That'll work, that'll work. Because that. All right, here we go. Here you go, Sam. Not a real. Uh, I don't need that much. Don't not a real that. tough fish, but he's a nice walleye. Down and up, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> it's barely hooked, I think. Yep. Go get him, Sam. You got a lot of net. There you go. Nice fish. <laughs> That's an 18, 19 incher. That's a beautiful fish. Wait a second. Good job, guys. Get in there, Bowman. You know, the Lund Pontoon has been a huge, huge tool in our arsenal. We've, uh, we have lots of groups of families and just big groups of buddies. They don't want to go in two or three different boats. They want to be all together. So we'll fish four, five, six people at a time in here. And with this layout, the way they have it, you know, wide open, we can put four or five we fish up to six guys real comfortably. It also, not just for the guiding, family groups. 
Um, a lot of times mom and everybody's back here reading a book and relaxing and enjoying a day on the water while the front of the boat's being used to catch all kinds of walleyes. So it's so diverse the amount of things we can do with this. I mean, uh, another thing that I really like is a lot of my customers are, they're getting up there in age. And if I sit them in a boat for eight hours a day, at the end of the day, they can hardly get up to walk out on the dock. In here, they get to move around all day, move about freely. Kids run around all day in here. We still fish and don't have any issues. One thing they added on my new LX Lund pontoon here is Mercury's vessel view. Uh, it's connected to my 204 stroke Mercury. We used to tap on our throttles when we're back trolling and try to get our speed just right. Now I hit a button, set it to smart troll, and I actually dial my RPMs by 10th, just like on the smart craft gauges and stuff, but this is a touch screen right in front of me and easy to use. It has econo mode. Um, it'll show you where your motor runs the most efficiently, more economical, and when you're on the water every day like me, that's important. The other feature is it'll connect right to my Lowrance graphs. I can run my down view, my side views, everything right through my Lowrance's, and it's just like having another nine inch graph if that's what I want at the moment. Just such a cool tool that I never thought I needed, and now I won't live without. That's a fish. Well, we got one on right now, so we're gonna get to this. Oh, I know where it is. <laughs> Big? It's, this is a bigger one, isn't it? Yeah. We're just gonna get rid of everything. Be gone. Need to hold it better. Get away from that fish. Cut <laughs> it. Bo, you don't need to reach yet. I can back up a little. I'm going to go slow us down just a touch. Oops. Hopefully it's a big walleye, not a catfish. Sideways hook catfish, hopefully no. not. You going to do this? I get it. Okay, watch your where your net is. I'm going to slow us down even more so it stays down. I like what I'm seeing. I need to back up more. It's, it's a like walleye, this? I can see it. It's a nice walleye. Oh, it's not even that big. That's nice. How did I do that? Bo, why didn't you extend? There you go. Nice fish. Wait. <laughs> That's how you end the day, kids. We got to grill, catch a bunch of fish trolling. What a day. What an awesome day. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like more information, check out LundBoats.com or these other online outlets.